been up to much recently. <laughs> I've just got to stop you there. Woo, I need therapy. And then I go a little closer. This is what I'm working with. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Hello. Um, welcome back to Homegrown Daisy. Now, today's guest almost needs no introduction. She was my first ever guest on season one of the podcast. We worked together for six years, creating the most sought after pieces and the best selling lines of all time. We've laughed together, we've cried together. She's seen me through my biggest era and I've seen her through hers. Estee Lalonde, everyone. <laughs> Waiting for the applause. Yeah, I know. It's kind of weird. There's Not no studio anything. audience. <laughs> weird, right? <laughs> Thank you for having me again. I know. It's kind of, what we were trying to work out, it's been two years. What? Two years since we launched this podcast and since you were last, well, you weren't exactly here. Similar setup. We've upgraded. Yeah, this is a great sit you. But yeah. I remember that like it was yesterday. I can't believe that was two years ago. I know. Time. Time has flown by and lots has changed. So to kick off season three of the podcast, we're doing something a little different. Um, this week, our newest collaborative collection has just launched. Yeah. Yeah. We have launched our first fine 14 karat gold and diamonds, lab grown diamonds, lab grown white sapphire collection this week. And it's finally here and you've been asking for it forever yeah literally forever when I first discovered daisy jewelry pieces I fell in love with the diamond chakra bracelet we did we did like a one-off yeah just the chakra bracelet still in sterling silver with gold yeah. plate but they had little di like pave diamonds on there and of course she was drawn to those <laughs> and then do you remember what you said in the um, podcast last time you were here what you were saying what you wanted next I said I have been wanting a fine diamond diamond jewelry collection please when can we do it I was begging and begging and I've asked you guys a lot <laughs> I and think <laughs> when you said it I just stayed silent and you were like see this is what I'm working with <laughs> <laughs> but it's finally here and we're so so excited so I thought this week instead of diving through your significant pieces like we usually do on this podcast we're going to talk through some of the pieces some of your favorite pieces from the collection and talk a little bit about the journey that got us to this collection because as I said it's been six years it really six has been years. a journey it really has <laughs> and sometimes when I meet people they say like I went through a really hard breakup and I bought one of your pieces or I just got had a baby and I just got one of your pieces so people really look to our collections I feel like as like you know yeah, a I'm moment in time I'm and a celebratory Marco. thing or, you know, a self-love thing. So mm -hmm. I'm excited to show everyone this collection. Okay, okay, I just also, for the listeners, I want to set the scene. We're going to just quickly run through what we're, what we're wearing. Okay. So I'm wearing some gold hoops, the Estee Lalonde T-bar necklace, and like a black flowy jumpsuit. Estee, what are you wearing? Yeah, you look very chic. I'm wearing a full Zara number, just like a little, are these called waistcoats? Yeah. They're so like good. Like a tailored, like it really... Cut, cut, well, I was thinking I need something to tailor me if I'm going to be sitting down Are chatting really with a camera. Through? I was like, what? Because I've messed this up so many times. <laughs> so I've watched back the podcast. Oh, that's not my best. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know what we did before these. Just so convenient. I haven't got one. Oh, you need. Really? You need. Okay. It, it makes me instantly feel like my inbox is totally replied to. <laughs> my house is clean. And I have no stress. Like, that's what this does for okay. me. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get one of those. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got some Zara shorts on and some little flats from Mista. And some earrings from the new collection. Yes, so these are obviously from the new collection. I have to say, I think these are my favorite piece from the whole collection just because they go with everything. And and these were really the piece that I I wanted. Yeah. Yeah. But we can get into that. We can get into that. Um, and also, actually, at the end of this episode, Este, I'm going to ask you to choose your all-time favorite piece from the last five collections that our listeners can get a 24-hour discount. Oh, my gosh. Um, yeah. So think about that. Okay. Um, okay. So, Este, been up to much recently? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's been a... It's, it, there's a lot that's been going on, right? There, I've been through some things the past few months that's you could definitely say that yeah but I am here to tell the tale oh yes I am there seems to be a running theme that something very pivotal is happening in your life and we launched a jewelry collection together it's true but I didn't expect this launch to be this moment yeah to be quite honest with you I thought it was going to be a different moment we and did I mean should we 
maybe some people don't know what have what we're talking about. Well, yeah, <laughs> let, let let us talk about that. I mean, so for those who don't know, we have got six collections together. We started back in 2018 yeah. and every collection hasn't actually been off the back of a life event, but it has told a bit of a story from how you were feeling and you've come into each meeting and said, this is what's going on. This is how we feel. And this is how I want this collection to yeah. feel. And this is how I want the wearers to feel. And I, you know, I'm not going to wear that if it looks like that. And it's been so driven by how you have felt in that moment. Yeah, I always have, I felt like every collection I've had something I wanted to say. Yeah. It hasn't just been launching it for the sake of launching new pieces. It's been like something. Yeah. And you wanted diamonds. You wanted a fine collection. Yeah, I wanted them forever. Yeah. Because I love bling bling. And then what was the reason why we well, first started talking about I it? I was engaged and excited and looking forward to my wedding. And when all of that happened, it was obviously such a happy point in my life. Um, it felt like a natural time to do a fine collection mm. with diamonds and pearls and things like that. So it felt like the perfect time to launch that. And we wanted, I remember you saying to me, you know what, I think I want to design a collection that is something that I can wear on the day and yeah. then like every day afterwards. Yeah. So that was the kind of, that was where we started with it, wasn't it? Totally. I mean, I obviously wear my own pieces every single day since we started doing these collections. I've worn definitely one piece of my own jewelry every day, mm. at least, you mm -hmm. know? So I didn't want my wedding day to be any differently. And I wanted to design some pieces that were really what I wanted to wear on my wedding day. Mm -hmm. And um, I was super excited about it. And it wasn't just for the wedding day, obviously it was beyond mm. because not everybody is getting married all the time. Although it does feel like it sometimes <laughs> <laughs> on Instagram. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to create a collection that could be used for that, but could also just be for anyone that appreciated the finer things in life. And then where have we, <laughs> where so have we landed? <laughs> I'm not getting married, as most people obviously know by now. Mm -hmm. um, so that has been difficult. Yeah. And I shared a big, long, teary video about that recently. Which... I'm impressed that you even managed to do that. Yeah. I had You had me going. Yeah. I had myself going. And then when I was editing it, I had myself going again. Yeah. Yeah. And then I sent it to my mom to watch it before I put it up. And she called me crying. And she's like, this is just... <laughs> and then I was actually said to my mom like are you okay <laughs> um but yeah I just felt like I've shared so much of those happy moments with everyone mm. uh, you know around my engagement and my wedding that I just felt like I did owe it to people to kind of explain what was happening and also I felt like you know people go through breakups and I'm not the first to call off a wedding mm. you know people have done it before absolutely um and I just thought maybe it would help people and I actually think it helped me a little bit to just like say it yeah rather than like pretend it wasn't happening yeah which I did for a few months that's a big it was a lot yeah so that was a lot mm. and I shared also with people who watch my videos that you know we had we did a shoot we did we did yeah. a shoot back in May and yeah, like we were saying, it was kind of jewelry to be worn on the you know, your big day and beyond. So we did quite a few like bridal looks. Yeah. And I remember you called me after we had a big meeting about this is, yeah, these are the images. This is what we're going to yeah, do. Yeah, Ruth this was like, and on your wedding day, you can share the picture of you wearing the earrings you designed. And I was like, I'm, I'm just going to stop you there. Because <laughs> well, you kind of just, we were like, I could see you just going quiet. And I was like, she doesn't like what I pulled together. She hates it. And then I got this text saying, can I just call you? Yeah, that um, was, I wasn't expecting to actually call you or tell anyone. I hadn't really, but it just felt like we were getting a little close to the wire. Yeah. Um. But I didn't, I, you know, when you're kind of like experiencing something like that, you're not thinking straight. Well, we have created something amazing. And you know what's even, what I love most about it is the story that we are, that we have told now with this collection is that your life and what we've kind of done with every single collection, your life is ever evolving and ever changing as are all of ours. And I think especially for you and the life that you uh, so willingly share with your audience is that like 
every day is different. Yeah. One day you're going to this like snazzy event. One day you're just like at home with Effie. One day you're actually just really talking honestly about you need to have like a self-care day. One day you're nearly missing a flight to Switzerland. One day you're getting delayed. And you know, it's, <laughs> it's for all of these different days. And this collection is one that can see you through every single day. A fine diamond, you can wear it in the water, you can do this, blah, blah, blah. So I think it's actually... It's really perfect. It, it's what the collection was always meant to be. I don't think we realized it. Yeah. But I actually think the message is stronger now. And actually, when we designed the pieces, like I, I knew how I wanted to feel in the pieces, and I want to feel like that still, you mm -hmm. know. And I want to feel like that on a day-to-day -day basis. And actually, I've been wearing the pieces, and they just they do make me feel. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> they just make me. It's like a self-love thing. Mm. And you guys know that I, I bought my own engagement ring back, back, back in the day. Mm. God, I'm a mess. We talked about that on the podcast <laughs> last time. <laughs> Woo, I need therapy. Um, <laughs> and, you know, it's just like, you are enough. And, you know, break up, no break up, whatever. It's like just learning that lesson of like listening to your own intuition mm. and loving yourself and believing that there is a... Another direction? Another direction. It's and not one direction. <laughs> and that everything will, will be, be fine. fine. Talking about one direction, they shot in the house that we shot at. Did they? Yeah, yeah. I went on her Instagram. We shot in this amazing place in Bromley for the shoot. And yeah, I was looking in one direction to a shoot there. Great segue. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm done talking about all that. <laughs> Before we start talking about the pieces, how has your jewelry style evolved? over the years and how do you think that's led into what you wanted to see in this collection? I think when we launched our first collection, I was really just, I was pretty young. I was just wearing jewelry well, we that- We were trying to work this out. How, how yeah, 26. 26. Yeah, 26. <laughs> <laughs> I was wearing pieces that like my mom had given to me mm. or I had bought at like a random beach town or whatever, you know? And you know, it, things have obviously changed since then. I am 34 now, feeling good. And uh, did that convince anyone? <laughs> <laughs> and um, I think I've had time to understand my own personal jewelry style more. In the beginning, I was really into layering. I wanted like chunky mm. kind of not masculine pieces, but like, yeah, just like things I could layer. And I remember saying to you, like, I love it when old men on beaches have hairy chests and gold chains. <laughs> like that was my vision for myself back then <laughs> and actually I think over time I've become slightly more feminine you know whatever that means but I've just become a little bit more I don't know that's what I'm, I'm trying to lean into and I think well like I could see yeah the first collection was more like bigger more like statementy pieces yeah which and I then, still love yeah yeah and then I still like the t-bar love which you can just wear alone or you could just like layer up. And then like, you know, let's go on this journey. Then we hit the pandemic. And then I remember you saying to me like, I just want chains. I just want to be able to add on a gold chain. Simple. Over whatever I'm wearing, I'm just going to be wearing a cashmere jumper that day. And I've got hundreds of Zoom calls. That's what I wanted to do. So we made like a really simple collection. Yeah. Now I just feel like as you're I, like, I'm witnessing your jewelry style evolve. It's kind of like more pared back. It's just like some simpler pieces that really just complement like you. You said that perfectly. Better than I ever could. <laughs> um, I have certain pieces that I just don't ever take off yeah. um, that are just part of who I am. And I just love them so much. And then I interchange a few things. I love wearing rings. I've always loved wearing rings. And it's really like my armor. I feel like jewelry's mm. always been my armor. But I, I, I don't know how people don't wear a thousand rings. Like, it makes me feel good. There's there's no better feeling than a fresh manicure and your rings. <laughs> they it's look like... so good. For those that are listening that can't see, Estee on her right hand, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six rings on or across her index to her little finger, and they look so good. A bit of silver and a bit of gold, or white gold and silver. Oh, I gold am gold, really sorry. into switching that up, like mixing metals, basically. Yeah. I love diamonds obviously who doesn't I love <laughs> mixing shapes and styles um yeah I just I, I love the sound I don't know if you can, you can hear that of my earrings I don't know go a little closer <laughs> 
earrings <laughs> clinking together. It's just like a little, I don't know, just fun. Just yeah. makes me feel good. And I get so many compliments on my jewelry. Like if I'm like signing a bill or something, you know, at a restaurant, everyone's always like, I love your rings. Nice. Yeah. It, that makes me feel good. And I think like the ring thing really came into this new collection. As we'll dive into, we wanted rings that you could just really stack that were going to yes. catch the light that just sparkled. It just looks super yes. chic. Some earrings that were going to just simple enough to make a really strong statement uh, yep. by themselves. Necklaces, less about layering with these because like we said with necklaces, you're not really layering so much, but ones that can just make you feel really special special when you put them on. that's a little, the perfect like, word extra special yeah that's the perfect word and also just like when I'm playing with my hair or something and then you know you just see the rings it's like why wouldn't you want to accessorize yeah. that <laughs> come on you've got 10 fingers to play with here <laughs> make them look pretty um Okay, well, shall we shall we start talking about the collection then? Let's. So, as I mentioned, it launched this week. I can't even remember how many pieces we've got, but this is our first 14 karat solid gold collection. And we have used freshwater pearls, we have used lab-grown diamonds, and we have also used lab-grown white sapphires. Now, why did we use lab-grown white sapphires? Because we wanted the big pieces, and diamonds are really expensive. So, in order to make it kind of more affordable, and we wanted to make some chunkier pieces, we used lab grown white sapphires and on that note should we start talking about that big chunky ring because we're on rings yeah so Esther is wearing now I, I don't know the names of any of these pieces so I think we're just gonna have to describe them but this is kind of a layered pear shaped lab grown white sapphire that's going one way this way up one way the other way up, one way this way up and it is so punchy it's so big it's so sparkly and so beautiful and I think that's, I remember when we got that sample and it was like, yes. I was like, yes, I love that. You were like, can we really, yeah. are we really gonna? It's gorgeous. I mean, again, perfect on its own, going to be amazing layered. I love it. It's gorgeous. There's nothing bad I can say about this ring. Yeah. And I some other lab grown white sapphire pieces that we have done is the bracelets actually that you're wearing. Yeah. So there are four bracelets in this collection. We have one with a single rectangle lab white sapphire, which is just so pretty. So and chic. So nice just by itself. And like we styled it in um, in the shoot that we just did. I styled this, all the bracelets, kind of with some of the simpler ones from our previous collections. Yep. So like the forever chain or the wavy snake chain. And they just look so nice coupled together. Um, so we've got one that just has one rectangular lab white sapphire. And then there's another bracelet that has three um like a triple one and that's really cute and actually layered together we really enjoyed doing that didn't we that was yeah. really nice so I, I feel like this collection is really like the cherry on top you know it's pieces that can be enjoyed on their own or they can be layered with your existing jewelry yeah, yeah. but yeah these are beautiful and another brace that we have is just a plain gold chain and everyone when I put that necklace on you I put two together mm -hmm. and you were stood by the window and we were just like mesmerized because the way that it is, it's kind of like a twisted Singapore chain and then a really thin rectangular plate. Yeah. And the way that the sun catches it is just so pretty, isn't it? And I'm going to answer the question on everyone's mind. Yes, you can shower in this yes. jewelry. Yes, there we go. And as a newly single lady, <laughs> I can't be putting bracelets on myself. <laughs> That's going to send me into a downward yes. spiral okay so you're just gonna leave them so on. i'm just gonna leave these on now yeah they are staying it's they're really lovely so we got four bracelets which you can leave on forever yeah necklaces wise this beautiful pearl necklace that has been the one that we've gravitated to the most i can't get enough of it let's talk about this so we've got five this is a station necklace it's on a really really fine 14 karat gold chain and then it's got five god i had to check my counting then five freshwater pearls um this is one that yeah gravitated towards quite often in this the truly looks gorgeous yeah with a tank top a t-shirt i could imagine with like a cashmere jumper with like a lower neck i love that necklace that is the beautiful one and then following on with this pearl kind of talk we've got these amazing earrings which i love same Tiny little um, lab-grown white sapphire at the top here, round, with, I would say, like, a centimeter chain, a little freshwater pearl, centimeter chain, freshwater pearl, centimeter chain, freshwater pearl. And they are so beautiful. 
I think these are the perfect earring for me and my hair length because it's mm. just kind of like right there. Yeah. You could wear it with your hair down, like tucked behind my ears like I have now. Or if my hair was pulled back, I think that would just look so... If oh, if I had long hair and I could do like a slicked back long pony with these oh, earrings. Yeah. I think this is the perfect like dinner day, like whatever, but also in the daytime. Yeah. This collection honestly is... It's going to make me cry. I think everything's so pretty. Cry. So special. You want me to cry. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> She's not up. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've just picked up four of the rings. So there are six rings in total. I picked up four of them. And just the way that I've just picked them up. Gimme. They look so <laughs> good together. I'm like, you know, what are those birds that like shiny things? Magpies. I'm a magpie. Oh my God. <laughs> you just look at this and you just can't stop looking at what it. It was so nice on the shoot that I was, um, I was just putting the rings on. I had it in my head how I wanted them to go. And you're like, maybe... Oh yeah, that looks great. Or maybe, oh wow, yeah, whatever you just done, that looks good. But they just do all work yeah. so, so nicely together, don't they? I think also a lot of people get our jewelry as a gift. So yeah. around like Christmas time or birthdays or anniversaries. And I think to be able to offer like a little something special with a diamond in it. Hey, they could be really good. Sorry to talk about engagements, but really good placeholder engagement rings. Totally. But like this duo here, I, to me, this is like absolutely gorgeous. I don't feel like we're going to need to do a close up, but like. So know. we've got the Pave Diamond yes. band. And then what's nice about the other ring that you've got, Estee, that is the flow ring from, well, I think the, I think the collection that we did in lockdown. Yes. Which when I first showed you that. I hated it. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not often that we go, you know what, Estee, I think this is going to do really well. Like that's probably. Probably. That's probably the only time we've kind of gone, yeah. no, I really think you should trust us. I was like, I can't stand that ring. It's hideous. <laughs> uh, I don't want it. No. And then they put their foot down and I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but then I have to say, it's become one of my most worn rings. It's also become one of the best sellers. But yeah, like you said, one of your most worn because you can change your mind day by day. And oh, actually, I knew, yes, I can. knew actually when we'd seen it like in situ, styled with everything else, I knew you'd like it. Yeah. So we've created, because it was so popular and the original one obviously had no diamond in it. And for those listening, it's kind of a really simple um, band that twists at the top and then carries on round. And what we've done here is we've now made a solid 14 karat gold version and put a teeny tiny diamond just in the twist. I love it. And it cups it and holds it so beautifully. There's something really precious about yeah. that, isn't there? Now, if it was my birthday or something like that and someone gave me this, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be very into that. <laughs> I, I think it's beautiful. I think the yeah. rings, the rings for me... As well as the earrings that you've got in, the rings yeah. for me are just like really. Let's not sleep on these earrings. Oh yeah, I mean, I'm not usually a stud girl, but I would wear these studs because they're big. So we've got here pear-shaped, lab-grown white sapphire studs, like um, claw set, and they look really pretty. You were really enjoying wearing these. If you're someone who has like tons of piercings, yeah, these would look great in like the second or third. I or actually also think that that would look quite cute, like up here. Yeah. In the, um, what's this bit called? Cartilage. <laughs> the top of the ear. Yeah. The piercing at the top of the ear. I think that would These look are nice. just simple, gorgeous, perfect. We're not even talking about this. I know, we were coming on to that. Well, this As is the most important piece. I know. Tell us about the piece that you're holding. We all know and love the iconic T-bar. I'm wearing it today. That is our best seller. It is. It's the one that we have sold the most pieces of. It's our all-time Daisy bestseller in the history of Daisy's life. This is the piece Think that about we've that. sold the most. So we have decided to do like a mini tea bar with the little diamonds around the center. This is what I'm talking about. How would you style that? So it's a much, much <laughs> finer version of the original T-Bar. Yeah. Um, because it's solid gold. It's so beautiful. It's it's stunning. This is my everyday. This is white t-shirt. This is white cotton shirt for work. This is tank top. This is with a dress. The, yeah. It's endless. Yeah. It's endless. This piece, I think this is going to do 
I think people are gonna really love this. It's really, really, really beautiful. This is a really nice set. So I'm just trying to fish them out. So oh man, we've got two These huggies two. in this collection. One with a little drop rectangle. So the re rectangle really had a bit of a moment in this, and I, I love don't a really know why. It's yeah, it's just a nice shape. Well, if we're gonna <laughs> go there, <laughs> I know where it came from. <laughs> Obviously, my engagement. Ring. What do I call it? My ex engagement oh, yeah. ring. Is there a name for it? Is there a name for the ring that got returned? You know what? I've watched enough Judge Judy in my time to know <laughs> that if you do not get married, you give the ring back. Yeah. I've always known that law, mm. that's been ingrained in me. Of course. It's just good But I, I did kind of want to keep it. But then it's like, when are you going to wear it? You're not. Yeah. You're just going to cry. Don't keep it. But, but it was um, a rectangle shape. It was a rectangle. Designed um, by myself. So clearly I liked it. I didn't know that. How did I not know that? So we thought, brilliant. What a great bit of synergy to have loads of rectangles in this collection. But I actually love it. I think it's so beautiful. If um, I ever get married again, mm. I would want the exact same ring. Nice. Maybe a bit bigger. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> She's not kidding. <laughs> um, but I'm just saying I love that rectangular shape. I think it's really sophisticated. So we haven't kind of gone into every single piece, but Estee, can you, if people are kind of wondering, where should I start? If there's one piece that you think people should invest in? Well, I really am so proud of this collection. From the minute I first saw the samples, I loved it. I know. Like I really, truly, with like all of my heart and soul, really loved it. I think this collection is amazing for anyone that's loved our jewelry. Mm. And there's so many people who love our jewelry. Thank you to everyone. <laughs> I think if you're already someone who loves our pieces, this is a great time to just get something a little extra for yourself, put something on your wish list. Um, I would say the T-bar, mm. that's got to be, that's got to be an essential. And ah, these earrings that I'm wearing, if you have your ears pierced, I think people will wear these a lot more than they realize because they're just, they're amazing. They're the really big white sapphire with a big freshwater pearl hanging off. Yes. And their statement. Their statement, but, but you make them look very every day. They are every day. Yeah. They're, they're both. Okay. And then I have, oh God, I, I love, I love everything. Which ring? I feel like it's the flow. It's the flow. It's I the flow like ring with the little diamond. The way that the diamond's a little wrapped up. And the pave band. Yes. That is gorgeous. That's true. You cannot go wrong with that. And I just have to give love to our pearl station necklace. So she couldn't choose one piece. She's chosen four. I really love this collection. So start saving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, but they are all, we've, we've designed them to make sure they're just really timeless. Yeah. Um, and effortless and you will feel wonderful in them. Well, I guarantee that if you wear one of these pieces, I, this is a personal Estee Lalonde guarantee. I guarantee <laughs> you'll feel lovely in these pieces. And if you don't, you'll get a full, full money back if, guarantee. If you whatever, don't, don't contact me. <laughs> contact don't at Daisy. me. Don't at me. <laughs> um, okay, Estee, let's, um, I want to talk about fashion, style, okay. that kind of thing. Um, because we've had some fun with this recently. Yeah. Um, you styled this shoe. I styled the last I shoe. think that needs some serious praise. Thank you so much. Like, you really slayed this shoe. You know what? I've been looking at you for six years, <laughs> maybe longer. <laughs> and I never want to see your face again. And I just, um, I like to think, I know know what works yeah. on you and I really enjoy doing it. And actually we're really lucky to have some really great brand relationships and don't get me wrong, the team helped me as well. Yeah. They've got some, we've got some stylish peeps here. Now, how would you describe your personal style? Well, you're smiling because you <laughs> developed my personal style into <laughs> what Ruth is calling clean brat. So that is a mixture of the very popular brat mm. culture and the clean girl aesthetic so I think we need to dive deeper because what about it would be brat the brat would be okay the brat of my outfit today are these mista flats okay because they're a little bdsm okay yeah deep down yeah and then the clean is the is the waistcoat yeah. and the earrings yeah 
But now the hair could... is clean, but it's a little... It's a little ah. brat. Yeah. <laughs> and if you were wearing like that outfit, but with like a peachy den off the shoulder black top. Sure. Brat all the time, but still quite clean with the hair. But if I'm... G- if, if it's in the day, I lean more clean. If it's in the night, I lean more brat. Yeah. And I really saw this come to life at that wedding you went to in Switzerland. And that's where, that's where it all landed with me. I've been absorbed in this brat girl summer. I was wearing the pearl necklace. You were wearing the pearl necklace. You were wearing this like blue, like linen-y short suit. You had these like your hair, the pieces coming down the front, which is... For me, very 90s. Same. But so good. I think that was my best look ever And you time. All wore these shades with like the yellow or orange lenses. So good. And then you also do this kind of knee-high boot, short skirt. But, yes. Which is a brat. And then with like a cute little... Matilda like, Jerf Avenue shirt. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> it's clean brat, everyone. What I'm interested in is the contradiction within people. Like you don't have to be one thing. And I think that's what I've struggled with my whole life in so many ways is like, oh, I'm a clean girl. So let me do that. But then that's never felt quite right. It's like, no, I have to let this freaky side of me out. Mm. It's like learning. And that's my biggest lesson is to just stop trying to put everything in a box and control everything yeah. and just be all the things if you want to be. So I think that's what my style is evolving into. And the clean brat thing has actually helped me because today when I was putting on this outfit, I was like, I'm too clean. What shoes am I going to wear? That also reminds me of, um, you know, Alison Bornstein. Bornstein, Alison Bornstein. She does these, what, these three words. So you summarize your style in three words. So she has these three words, doesn't she? And you like identify your three words and like one day you might lean more into that word and one day you might have all th- I think she does this one day you could do be all three, but like... What's, maybe maybe the missing piece of this puzzle is finding your final word. Yes. C- clean, brat, let us know. <laughs> <laughs> you're, taking, you're taking suggestions. The, 100%. I'm trying to figure this out. Yeah. I'm, Definitely. But you know what? I grew up with my mom, like single mom queen, taking me to soccer practice in a leather jacket and red lipstick you know (laughs) I can so see that that's my mom so but then working like her nine to five in like a skirt with tights high heels and a blouse so you know I think I saw that like duality in my mom a lot yeah I love that yeah um how has your style evolved over the years well thank god it's evolved that's all I'm gonna say I don't know what the hell I was doing I still mess up oh I Not as many that. times, but like back, back, back in the day, like I just started a blog and I was showing everybody what I was wearing. Who did I, why did I think I should be showing people <laughs> with what I was wearing? <laughs> but it was I a love different the confidence. time. <laughs> oh my God. I don't have that confidence now. Sure. But at the time well, I was like. that's a shame. Let's get this back. I don't know if anyone needs that level of confidence. <laughs> I think you do just like learn how to dress better for your body, yeah. like what you feel good in, you know, your angles and, but and, I, just, and not like getting into like, if everyone else is wearing that thing, that's fine. Yeah. You do that. I know it doesn't suit me. I think you've always been very good at that. I mean, sometimes if I'm going out for dinner or something and I text the girls, I'm like, what are you wearing? And they show me, I'm like, okay, love that for you. Yeah. I'm just going to do what I normally do. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Um, what is your go-to styling day to day? I am so lazy because I work from home. But I think you're very good, but you have a lot of Zoom calls and things like that. I feel like you are, in my eyes, for what I see, like the perfect like in-between dre- dresser. <laughs> that sounds weird. I do a lot of Zoom calls, so I see what other girlies are wearing. And, and you can be at home having Zoom calls, but then you might need to get in the car and drive somewhere and you still look chic so you true you had those like baggy like I think they were from Marquette those trousers that you're wearing and you just put a cardigan over like yeah you, that is I true I think you do a great job um I like wearing loose trousers at home I'm snacking yeah <laughs> you know I don't like any type of constriction going on sure and then I usually like to wear a tight tank top yeah you cannot go wrong with a tight tank top on a zoom call especially yeah. when you're pitching for investment <laughs> Sorry. Thirst trap. <laughs> that actually hasn't even worked. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so in your day-to-day styling and actually in just oh, general yeah. life, um, what role does jewelry play in your styling? Jewelry is everything. And I'm not just saying that because I'm on a jewelry podcast and I have like 
a contract. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, jewelry is everything. Like I went out the other day because I had taken all my jewelry off. I did some fake tanning and I was I was at Asda checking out and mm. I was like, oh my God, my I'm naked. I just don't feel right. Yeah. I just love the way jewelry can, I don't want to use the word elevate because we've already used that word, but it can make you just feel so put together. We've used that as well. Yeah. <laughs> but like for me, even on my down days when I am working from home, wash my face, do my skincare, I'm glowing, mm. hair in a bun, earrings in. Okay. Now we're talking. Mm. Keep those rings going. How do you, do you kind of like put your look together and then go, okay, this is the jewelry that I need to wear. Or do you, like, you've kind of said you have your same rings on rotation, your yeah. same jewelry, and you kind of mix and match here and there. Jewelry always comes last. Mm -hmm. Yeah. First lipstick as the last, then jewelry. Great. Yeah. Um, okay. Before we finish up, I want to know, because we like talking about this, is there a trend that you've seen in fashion, circling background, that you went, whoa, wasn't expecting that. Actually, I've just thought of one. I love it. And I want to rock it, but I don't know how. What is it? It's um, like the metal belts that you put around like a dress okay. and then it dangles on the side. It's like very early 2000s. Big round? No. Yeah, like metal circles. Metal circles. Like Emma Haro did this the other day. I'll have to get a picture up. Yeah. And it's just... It, it is those ones, right? The yes, big round yes, discs. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, and they come down And they there. come down on the side. Oh, yeah. Oh. I was not expecting those back whatsoever. Me neither. But, and they just kind of go, clink. Correct. They've they got a little hook. Correct. Yeah. And I need one. But you can only really wear that with like a tight... No, I've seen people wear it over like a shirt. So. Oh, well, back in the back in the noughties, it was over like a, a flowing, like yes. hippie kind yes. of skirt. But we're not doing it like that anymore. No. It's on like a... Going way more brat with it more brat <laughs> I need one where do you get them I'm sure I'll have to ask Emma you have to ask Emma yeah have you had her on this podcast uh no we kept we actually we were going to have her on the podcast we couldn't find a date oh so Emma she'd be a good one Come Emma on. and finally Estee before we finish up what's up next for you uh getting through life probably is up there for me right now yeah <laughs> taking it day by day and everything's going to be just... Everything's going to be just fine. fine. And I really believe that. Like, yeah. I have an inner knowing in my being that I've always had that everything will be fine. Yeah. Like, my mom always has always in ingrained that in me. But I think what's next for me is, you know, I'm a founder. So lots of work on the brand. And I'm a mother to Effie. So spending lots of quality time with her. And I'm going to be spending a lot of time in the U.S. this year. Nice. Yeah. Like a lot of time, like a lot of time, but like more, more time, year. more than last year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm excited to go to LA and hopefully New York again. You are such a oh, man. hard worker. Yes. I know thank it's, you. It's a, it's a lot. It is. And you do so well. And every day is different. Yes. But this, I tell you what you're also going to be doing. You're going to be wearing a lot of this jewelry. I am going to be packing this places. in my suitcase. I'm going to use one of your jewelry cases. You'll be seeing me in these pieces you know that uh, we could get you one with your initials on this has got love on. my initials are el <laughs> if you didn't know <laughs> okay i say before i let you go i would like you to choose your all-time favorite daisy piece from the last five collections that you would like to offer our listeners our watchers a limited discount for like 20 percent off which Ooh. piece are you gonna yeah which piece would you like to choose? Well, it is hard to choose because I love every piece. But since I've been staring at you this entire time, looking at your beautiful T-bar mm. necklace, I think I have to go with the T-bar yeah. because it is just such a great one. Great shout. Yeah. I've been wearing this nearly every day for the last few weeks. So um, for a limited time, you can shop the Estee Lalonde T-bar necklace as modeled, modeled, as modeled by me. Our discount code will be in the show notes. Finally, 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 we are going to donate £100 to a charity of your choice. What charity would you like it to be? Best news ever, and I'll double it. Let's donate to Wild at Heart Foundation, which is where I adopted Effie from. Amazing. I'm going to cry because I love my baby. <laughs> Thank you so much, Estee. Thank you. Um, onwards and upwards. Let the journey commence. Indeed. Buckle up, baby. <laughs> Thank you for listening to Homegrown Daisy. Make sure to subscribe wherever you listen to your podcasts and follow us on Instagram so you don't miss a thing.